Welcome to Rick Rack Ruby. I'm Laura Cluvo. Today we will be making this Christmas tree girl ornament. She's fun and easy, so let's get started. To make the Christmas tree girl ornament, we will start with a 20 millimeter face. And you can find the instructions for the Rick Rack Ruby face in my Focus on Faces video. Then I have some green tool. Comes on a spool like this, it's six inches wide. I have two 18 inch lengths, there are two lengths here. I have uh, red and white baker's twine and I threaded a nice long piece onto a blunt needle. And then two green chenille stems and one is cut in half. So I'll start by folding this in half and then I'm going to go down through the top of the head and then through the loop and then up through the head again from the bottom like that. And then let me pull this, this is a little too long. Um, that looks about right. About six inches above the head. Then I'm gonna pull this all the way through. See, there's the green coming through the top of the head and back up a little bit, add a smudge of glue here. I want to be sure that the, the tool separates front and back. So in other words, I want the face to be centered with one of these tool pieces like this. And then I'm gonna add a smudge of glue here at the back, just a little bit. And then I'm going to um, pull the face down onto that green. Great. And I'll tie an overhand knot here to form a hanging loop. And then we're going to create a little body. Here we go. This is the arms, this is the leg. So we'll fo fold the legs in half. There we go. And then the arms. I just like to fold the arms to get them centered, but you'll have a chance later if they're not exactly perfect. That looks good. And then a little twist here, just a small little twist, not too far down. So we have the arms and the legs and then separate this. like this, and then I'm gonna tie this off nice and tight right up here as close as I can to the um, chenille stem. Now I'm using a double strand of this um, quilting thread. I have white, I wish I had green, I don't have green. So it's just um, a tight wrap here, and then I'm gonna stitch through to secure it. So I'm gonna stitch through from front to back, right here, right through like that. Can you see that? Okay. It doesn't have to be super neat and perfect because this is going to be concealed by the tiers of green fabric. Now I'll tie this off in the back. We'll set her aside. This fabric is from the Yuletide Bouquet Collection. And you can see it's just ready-made. I had to make a tree from it because it's literally green with tree decorations and it's so cute. So I cut three strips. For the hat, I cut a one and a quarter inch by four inch strip. For the top tier, it's two and a half by 10. And for the bottom tier, three and a quarter by 12. I wrote this down in case anybody wants to um, review. One and a quarter by four, 2.5 by 10, and 3.25 by 12. Now for each tier, for each piece, I'm gonna do the same thing. The bottom edge, and this is directional, so the bottom edge of each strip is going to be folded up a quarter of an inch and pressed and then on the right side, 
I'm going to apply this very narrow lace. So this is probably about a quarter of an inch. I'm just gonna apply this to the bottom. I'm not gonna to try to have it hanging off like this. I'm just going to apply it to the bottom the best I can. Um, I wanna make it easy. So I'll press these under and then apply the lace to the top of each strip. Each strip is treated the same way. Even the hat, just fold up the bottom. Here we go, move that out of the way. Even the hat. I'm gonna fold up the bottom and apply the lace. So I'll do that step and I'll be back. Here are my three strips and now I'm going to fold them right sides together and just hem up these side seams. The little hat piece I'm going to set aside and the two green tear pieces I'm going to turn right side out and then starting with the smaller piece, I'm going to gather up the top raw edge. I have a doubled strand of white quilting thread. I wish I had green, but I looked through my stash and I didn't have any green quilting thread. Anyway, I'm just gonna gather up the top edge, big stitches, um, pretty close to the edge, a little bit less than a quarter of an inch. Just gather it all the way around the ruffle. Now I'm not going to cut it off or pull it too tight yet because I want to fit this on the little girl ornament. I imagine this as a girl who wanted to dress up like a Christmas tree and the Christmas tree outfit is sort of like her costume. I'm trying to get the fullness of the gathers distributed evenly and then the seam, you can see the seam here, is in the back. I'm also trying to be sure that the top edge, the top raw edge of this ruffle is very, very close to the top of the, of the character. So in other words, just right there beneath her chin and uh, only the width of the pipe cleaner here that's going straight across that's, that's all the gap between her chin and the top edge of the dress. So now I'm gonna pull this tight, stitch through, maybe wrap around. I wanna make sure that I go through from the back to the front. That way I can assure that this isn't gonna slip up or down. And um, yeah, I have to be careful to be sure that the loop, the thread loop right here doesn't get caught on the arms or the hanger. Nice and tight. All right, I'm gonna secure the thread in the back and then we'll move on. Now I'm gonna gather up the top edge of the bottom tier in the same way. I'm gonna secure the thread right there in the seam allowance. I folded both sides over and then I'm gonna just gather up again all the way around the top edge. Now, I want you to know that it was a lot of trial and error to get these um, tiers to be the correct um, length and width. And I had some kind of humorous attempts, but this is my conclusion that she really looks best with these sizes. I considered making three tiers, but that was just too much. All right, so before I pull it all the way tight, I'm going to lift up this piece here and I'm going to insert this. Um, you think I should insert it from the bottom? Is that what I heard you say? <laughs> I think you're right, that would be easier. And then um, pull this tight and get it all the way up next to the first tier. See, it's right up next to that one. When this folds over, it's just gonna lay very nicely and it's gonna be just right, just enough of this one showing. And then the top of this kind of fills the space there. I'm gonna be sure that the seam is in the back 
I'm going to pull it nice and tight and then I'm going to stitch through and secure this in the back. And then I'll just tie off my thread. Now let's add the hair. I'm using this loopy mohair from Weir Crafts, W-E-I-R Crafts on Etsy. I'm gonna wrap this, I think five times. I'm holding it here, one and two, three and four and five, and then I'll tie this off in the center. And I'm gonna make a second bundle, one for the front and one for the back. One and two and three and four and five and. And then take this top piece and go all the way around in the center and then pick up the original piece, the original end and tie it off. Be sure to leave those ends nice and long so they're easy to reach and wrap and tie. Just a square knot in the center. Then you have two little figure eight bundles and each side should have five loops. All right, I think I should trim this tool. I'm gonna make it a little bit longer than the skirt. That looks good. And I, I'm going to sort of arrange that later. To start, we're, we'll do the back. So I'm going to spread some glue on the back of her head, and then I'm going to press this into the glue. Now, for this project, the back of the head does show. So it's not like an angel where there's a halo or wings. But she does have a hat. So it covers up part of it, but I do try to keep this kind of neat. So I'll press the center right behind this loop and then I'll press the yarn into the glue. That looks good. I'm gonna glue that down. Then for the second bundle, I'll squeeze out some glue right here in front of the hanging loop and then press the center of the bundle right there. And then I'll add some glue right here along the side and then twist and press that onto the side of her head. So there's the glue and then I'm gonna twist and press. That looks good. And then the same thing for this this side, a line of glue, and then twist and press. Line of glue, twist toward the back, twist and press, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more glue here to get that loop back. That looks good. And now I'm going to add a little red bow from La Petite's, the Paper Studio. I think that was from Hobby Lobby, but you can get them a lot of places. I'll just add a little bit of hot glue here and press that just below her chin. Cute. That looks good. Okay, now we have this. And I want to put a star at the top of the tree. I'm going to cut these star appliques from this lace that I got from Timu, but you can use anything. You can even cut your stars from felt, punch them out with a punch. You need two of them, one for the front, one for the back, and then about five inches of wire. I'll measure it. Actually, five is probably plenty, but I'm gonna cut five and then this is not a halo. This is just sort of to hold the um, 
the star above her head. So I'm gonna fold this in half, not like a circle, but just pinch together like this. Just folded and pinched. I'm looking to see if I have any pliers. Wait, are these pliers? Nope, these are cutters. But, you know, you can use pliers to push that together. Then I'm going to glue the stars front back to the wire like that. So I'm going to spread a little bit of glue on the back of the star and then press it onto the top loop of the wire. And then in the same way, let's see, let's get that centered. In the same way, I'll add some glue to the back of this star and match that up so that the point is at the top. It doesn't have to be perfect, like that. And then I'll separate this, and these ends are going to be glued into her hair on either side of her head. That's way too tall. So I said five, probably four inches would be more reasonable. So I'll cut a half an inch off of each end. see how this looks. Okay, that's better. So now I'm going to add a little bit of glue to each end of this wire and then press that into her hair on either side of the head. That looks good. Now don't lose track of your hanging loop. You need to be able to work around that. Now here's my little hat and I haven't turned it right side out because I'm going to gather up that top edge again and then I'm going to slide it on this way and then secure it and then fold it over. Does that make sense? Okay, I'll show you. Here's my little hat with the lace applied to the edge and I'm folding the seam allowance over to one side and I will secure the thread right there in the seam allowance. And then I'm just going to gather up all the way around the edge. I know it's small. Can you see? Like that. Just going through one layer of fabric all the way around. It looks a little bit messy because there's a lot of threads, but once it's done, it'll be fine. Now I'm going to place this over the hanging loop and the star upside down. And I'm going to pull it tight around these wires at the bottom of the star. Okay, so there's the hanging loop, there's the star, and then we're going to gather that and pull it tight. And before, I, before I tie it off, I want to flip it down just to make sure it's going to fit. Looks good. So I'll go ahead and secure that just by stitching through. I know it looks a little awkward because it's kind of hard to show you but it's not hard to do. It's not hard at all. And you don't have to be perfect. I'm just stitching through in between the wires, around the wires, through the hanging loop, just whatever seems right to make sure that it's secure. And then I will secure my thread on the back. Okay, I know it looks goofy now, but let's just pull it over. I want it to be um, like not smooshed all the way down like this, but just kind of like a little bit raised above her head so that it looks like the top of a tree. 
and I'm not gonna really smash it and glue it, it'll stay. I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue underneath here in the back so that it's sort of um, a little bit tilted maybe. I kinda like that, it's a little more whimsical. So I squeezed out a little bit of glue to the inside of the back and I'm just gonna glue that to her hair. That looks good. Okay, we're in the home stretch. Now I wanna show you how she looks right now. She has her two arms, two legs, her tool, her two tiers of dress fabric, her little bow, her hat, her hair. The seams are in the back. There's a little bit of the tool showing. Her hanging loop is coming out through the top center of the hat, but behind the star, which is wired. And um, the wires are concealed by the hat and the hair. Now for the legs and the feet, I'm going to fold this forward twice. So she has a little foot. Um, you don't want it to go at a 90 degree angle like that, it's too, too strong. But just sort of like this, and then a little bend in her knee like she's just gonna go for a walk. And then for her hands, I have this little bell. And, um, oh no, the clapper's stuck. Oh, there it is, okay. So, one of her hands, I think this one's a little bit longer. Put it through. And then wrap this one around and this one around. And wherever the ends, the wire ends are, just twist so they're more to the inside of the design, like next to the dress. Now, I did start to make one with peppermint um, pipe cleaners, but as, that was just a little too much. This one's a lot better. Um, I'm gonna say she's done. I just love this fabric. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you're enjoying my videos, please like, share, and subscribe.